Here's an Equity Solid State Model 1010 alarm clock with battery backup. I haven't a clue where this came from. It was definitely removed from service as evidenced by a couple little paint dots on it as well as paint on the plug there. I love when people are that fucking... It's like, can you just fucking unplug it, really? How do you get so slot Like, really? Anyway, that's that. Your typical hour, minute, time alarm, snooze button, your alarm switch, which is kind of hard to operate. A little plastic panel here that does nothing just for styling. It's just a very basic alarm clock, nothing special at all. Why I have it, where I got it, I don't know, but there it is, electronic clock, model 1010, 120 volts, 60 hertz, 5 watts, made in Chinese. Equity, Virginia Beach, VA, 042, 2004, maybe? 9 volt battery compartment, right there. Put that back and we'll go ahead and see if the time wants to set nicely. It looks like it is 7.32, so time... Oh, well, maybe not. I don't know, let me play with it. Curiously, the time button doesn't seem to work, but the alarm button does. And the hour does not have a very heavy click like the other ones do buttons don't seem to work too well, which is strange, because um, that really sounds like it should work, so I don't know. Anyway, let me see if I could set the alarm anyways. Nah, nothing special. Just sort of works. Buttons need work, maybe some deoxid will clean them up because even the alarm setting was a little wonky. So this one needs a little work, so maybe I'll open it up and take a peek to see what's going on. But not going to do that on video. Um, yeah, that's really it. The Equity, which doesn't seem that equitable. Alarm Clock Model 1010. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, I actually got it to work if you, like, really mash it. There, now you can see the hours change, so it kind of sort of almost works still. Ah, whatever, it's there.